Well, after being sick and locked up for the past, well, since January 1st, we're finally getting out of this house, so we're going to go out and find somewhere to go to dinner. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're out of isolation. Yes. We We had COVID. After all these years of ducking it, we finally got it in... Even though we were fully vaccinated, it still kind of hit us hard, didn't it? It did. It yeah. took us a while to get over it. Yeah. yeah, it's not pretty. Anyway, we're going to go find something to eat. So do I make you want to run? Run away with me. Do I really make you feel like you don't need So now we're just trying to decide what we want to do for dinner. We have no idea. We're going down into the valley. Um, and we're talking about several different places. We might even go down into the neighborhood, down on Arenas, which is where a lot of the gay bars and a couple restaurants are at. We might do that too. What do you think? I think the world is our oyster. <laughs> oh, Lord. I just love how decisive you are, Poppy. <laughs> okay. So, we don't really know where we're going. I'm probably going to wind up making the decision because Gary's so easy going, he'll go, whatever. Uh, yeah. Which. I'm, I'm aiming at 849 unless you have something else. But that's so expensive. Well, okay. If you want to go to 849, that's fine. Um, but been, it, it's been, it is pricey. It's been a while since we've been there. Yeah, it has. Okay, yeah, like we've been to every restaurant in Palm Springs mm -hmm. at least once. Wrong. So, okay. So, as we said earlier, we uh, wound up getting COVID finally after all these years of getting lucky. Um, and we were locked up in the house for like three weeks. New Year's Eve, we decided we were going to go out, and that was the first New Year's Eve that we've done anything other than our traditional ritual that we opened up our YouTube channel with, showing you uh, going out to the beach and watching the sunset and then just going home when the sunset. But there is an organization in the U.S., I don't know if it's worldwide or not, called Prime Timers. And it's a bunch of old dudes, old gay dudes like us that um, get together and, and have drinks and socialize and stuff. Well, they were having a New Year's Eve party right, what, a mile and a half from the house, yeah, a maybe? Miles. Yeah, so we decided that we'd do that because we still haven't figured out a, a ritual or a tradition to do here yet. So we went out. New Year's Eve for a few hours. We were home by um, 10 o'clock because they celebrated New Year's Eve by Eastern time. So when the ball dropped in Times Square, uh, a lot of us started to leave and about an hour after it happened, we left. But anyway, we wound up catching COVID from that and we know it had to be from there because we hadn't been anywhere else. So we've been locked up ever since then. And it's today's, what's the date today? 17th. Yeah, so we've been, you know, almost three weeks, we've been locked up in the house um, and we were kind of going stir crazy. So we decided that we were gonna go out tonight and just try and do something. So we're still gonna figure out what restaurant to go to. Gary's still set on, going to this place, which is very nice, but it's a bit pricey for, you know, a non-occasional thing. I guess we could make this an occasion. Yeah, we can. Yeah. We're yeah. celebrating that we're out of isolation, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll see what happens. So this is 849. Yep. Here we are. 
It's good. The food's good. The, the food is, is usually good. So. It is good. The food really is good. And it's a gay restaurant, so or gay-owned, anyway. Gay -owned. So that's always nice, too. All right, so let's go in. <laughs> We have two of these next to our table. And if you can figure out what they're for, because I'm not going to ask. Gary doesn't know. So if you can figure out what they're for, let us know. We just got home from the restaurant. We had a very enjoyable dinner. At 948. Yes. Is it 948? No, 849. 849. Slightly 849 Palm Springs. It's a wonderful restaurant. But we also decided that we were going to stop at the Mexican bakery that just opened up up here where we live to buy Pasta. some goodies. For us, um, and I'm hoping this is very similar to a Cuban pastelito because it has guayaba, better known as guava, guava in it. We'll see. And Gary wanted this. It's very, oh, it is very flaky. Ooh, wait, I have to open the bag because it's falling apart. It's so flaky. It's very Oh, look at that. It's so good. Rossberry. Oh, look at that. Ugh. It's just flaking. It's so over. flaking, it's falling apart. <laughs> yes. And then two Ooh. more things. I have no idea what these what were. What is that? I don't know. It looks like one big clumpy cookie. I think I dug something out of the yard. It looked like that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> looks like something the dog's left. <clears throat> Here, try it. It might be cinnamony. Oh. No. No. Not cinnamon. It's no, good. It's, it's yeah. Cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon. Cinnamon. How many drinks did you have? Two, but who's counting? Yeah. And then there's this. Oh, which is a chocolate one of those. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't look well, maybe. Mm -hmm. Here. It does. Try that. Is that good? It is. 
I have no idea what the hell it is. Mm. Hmm. It's really good. It has coconut. Mm-hmm. No bit of coconut. If it has coconut, you know it's got me. Mm. So anyway. Good. That's what we've done tonight. I hope your night's been okay. Mm. This is good. It's nice to get out of the house. Yes. And go someplace fun and yeah. nice and... The service was great at 849. The food was good. And it was busy it was nice for evening. a Tuesday. Nice evening. Mm -hmm. It was a very nice evening. So we're going to eat our Mexican pastries while we watch the Great British Bake Off. So y'all have a good night, and we'll talk to you later. Have fun. Bye-bye. Nice.